Hey everybody, Ryan with Fluid Health and Fitness. Today I'm showing you how to do a PNF stretch on your TFL muscle. This is the tensor fascia lata muscle. So it's a flexor, lifts the leg up, it abducts, and it internally rotates the femur. So it's going to restrict your leg from going back, from going in, and from externally rotating. Okay, so we want to relax that muscle if you're seeing resistance and the uh, ability of the limb to do that. So we're going to get into a split stance position. I'm going to show you on the left side. Again, to stretch that muscle, I'm going to pull the hip under posteriorly, lean forward into hip extension. So the leg's going behind me. And again, I want that limb to go into external rotation. So again, the femur is externally rotated. And I want to what? Adduct. Adduct the hip. So again, it's hip under, extend, a deduct the femur and externally rotate. So that's how you get to that first stretch barrier. Now again, you're holding it there passively. So remember the acronym, passive, active, passive, strength. Passive just means you're using an external force to stretch the muscle. In this case, I'm using my hamstring on the opposite side to pull my weight forward. Now again, actively, I'm going to stretch it by squeezing my butt and adductor. So I'm pulling under and I'm dropping my hip, proximating the hip over. It's going to give it a good stretch. Okay, I'm going to hold it there again passively. So now I've got passive and active forces acting on this hip, holding it there until it relaxes again. Once I get to that inhibition, it's going to relax again. Stretch resistance is going to kick off. I'm going to strain the muscle, which means I want to flex the muscle doing what it does. So that means I need to flex it, I need to abduct it, and I need to IR rotate it. So I'm going to rotate open by turning my tibia out. I'm going to push forward on the knee, and I'm going to push out. So I can feel that muscle flex, lifting up. Okay, we're going to hold that there for about 10 seconds to strain the tendon. And then the tendon has this reflex inhibition technique, or, or um, it's a reflex inhibition on the muscle. It's going to relax the muscle to protect the tendon. It's called a tendon protection mechanism. So it's going to relax the stretch resistance, which means I should get into the next barrier of stretch with less resistance from the nervous system. So it'll let me get into another barrier. So again, what do I need to do? Posterior hip rotation, go into extension, adduction, and ER rotation. So the surface of the femur is moving open, or quad is moving open, hip is dropping over to the side, and I'm pushing forward into extension. And that's how you're going to get into it on the stretch. So questions on any of that, reach out to admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. You can do that series three or four times. It doesn't take a lot, but you'll notice that it's going to give you a little bit more range of motion each time you go through each one of those steps um, with the net intent to get better hip extension and adduction and external rotation. So get after it.